students walked out of their schools all across the country the other day in order to protest. Well, I'm going to let them, one of them, tell you herself what they were protesting rather than speak for them. Raina Wolf is a senior at the Annie Wright School in Tacoma, Washington. She also is president of the school's community service leadership group and one of the instigators of the walk out at that school. So first of all, Raina, thanks for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. Of course. Secondly, uh, good job walking out yesterday. Um, why did you guys walk out? Yeah, so uh, we noticed that there was a nationwide movement spearheaded by um, the students in Parkland, Florida, and we felt that it was really important to um, do that as well, just to show Congress that um, this is a student issue and not just an adult issue. Um, we feel that um, students being shot is uh, something that needs to be talked about and needs to be um, something that is, is changed. And so we felt that uh, having our voices heard through this walkout would be uh, very effective. So uh, were you one of the first people at the school to start thinking about it? Because what, I, what I'm thinking about is what it's like to organize uh, high school kids, uh, high school students, uh, for something like this. Did one or two of you just start talking to your classmates about, about it? Uh, and if so, how did they react when you first brought it up? Yeah, so um, I was the one who saw that this nationwide movement was happening, and so I decided to talk to my community service leadership team um, and see if that is something that we wanted to do at this school. So we got together, had a discussion, and it was something that we were all very enthusiastic about. So I had their full support in organizing this. Um, we also um, co collaborated with the Global Action and Model United Nations um, activity, um, to have more discussions on um, gun control and to hear different sides of the story and to talk about how we wanted to um, implement this walkout. You know, Raina, I, I, I hadn't thought about this before. I don't know why not, but uh, I helped organize a high school walkout too. Uh, but if I told you the year that we did it, you would probably laugh. <laughs> it was 1968. It was... Uh, I was 15. It was the um, it was the uh, against the war in Vietnam. Um, so one of the things that we got asked when we had our demonstration is, "What are your demands? What is it that you people want?" And in our day, it was you know a negotiated withdrawal from Vietnam. What are your demands? Yeah. So basically, we want change. There has been. Um, so much inaction in Congress, and that's really unacceptable when um, talking about children's lives that are on the line. Uh, so um, congressmen have given us their thoughts and prayers, um, but that is definitely not enough. And so we want some sort of legislation um, to make sure that this horrific event never happens again. So uh, gun control legislation mainly, you think? Yes. So. Um, we have different ideas about what that legislation could look like, um, but for me, I'm thinking about um, just banning semi-automatic and automatic rifles, or um, a, like AR-15s, mm -hmm. uh, and also um, accessories like um, high-capacity magazines. Just eliminate those because those are not needed to defend yourself or to hunt. Um, I also believe in um, creating uh, more extensive background checks. Uh, and having more mental health facilities available, um, and also making sure that people like uh, domestic abusers um, do not have these loopholes to get guns, that it is uh, totally not able for them to get guns. Well, that sounds like a reasonable platform to me. What percentage of students at your school walked out? Yeah, so it was a very large percentage uh, my high school is uh, rather small, with about 160 students, and I believe all but 25 walked out, or maybe 20, all but 20 walked out. 
Do, were you in contact with any students at any other schools in the area, or was this kind of a self-contained effort? Um, this was more of a self-contained effort. So um, now, when you walked out, what did you do? So we wanted to start with 17 minutes of silence um, to remember and honor the lives of the 17 people who were killed during the Parkland shooting. And then after that, um, we kind of uh, spontaneously decided to stand in a circle and hold hands. Um, some people brought out signs. And then after those 17 minutes, I gave a little speech about why I was out there. And then I asked anyone who wanted to come up and say a few words to do so. And so uh, after that, we gave some speeches. Um, some of you read a spoken word poem, and then we went back inside. All right. What, what, how did the teachers and faculty uh, behave towards you guys? Were, you, were they supportive? Did anybody give you a hard time? Or Yeah, so the administration at my school was very supportive. Um, also, the faculty was very supportive. Um, they actually went to, so we had three options. We had um, an option to um, stay in what we call the Great Hall and talk about school safety. We also had the option of doing a walkout. And we also created an option um, for people who um, didn't want to advocate for gun control to um, have a prayer service in the chapel. And so teachers um, went out for safety reasons um, to kind of stand around us and make sure that um, we were safe outside and some teachers went into the chapel. So it was very much um, them, them supporting us in all, in all ways. So you think you use this experience in your future life in some way? Yes, so I believe that um, I will definitely continue to advocate for this issue just because the NRE, NRA sorry, will always be advocating um, for more guns and will be lobbying um, congressmen forever because that's their job. And so I think that um, now in a day when so many mass shootings occur and people are um, very used to just kind of um, focusing on that and then leaving the issue and forgetting about it, I think it's so important to keep the momentum going um, in order to remind Congress that this is what we care about. Because we are the people, we are the voters, and what we care about matters. Well, okay, and we'll, I guess, leave it there. But Raina Wolf, senior at Annie Wright School, uh, thanks for doing this. Thanks for coming on the program, and good luck in the future. Thank you so much.